1800 years ago, at the end of the Eastern Han Dynasty, some monks from India traveled to China along the Silk Road. They crossed mountains and rivers, and overcome all sorts of difficulties. Finally, they made it to the Guangzhou Plain. One day, as they were walking, colorful auspicious clouds suddenly appeared in the sky. They thought that this was a sign from the Buddha, telling them that this was the place where the Buddha relic they brought from India would be enshrined. They stopped, buried the finger bone Sarira of the Buddha here, and built a pagoda over it. They called the pagoda the Ashoka Pagoda. King Ashoka was the third king of the Mauryan dynasty in India during the 3rd century BC. After converting to Buddhism, he began spreading the religion throughout India and beyond. He divided the Sarira relics of Sakyamuni Buddha into 84,000 parts and sent them all over the world to build pagodas for worship. Nineteen of these relics were sent to China, with Faman Temple being the fifth recipient. 120 kilometers west of Xi'an lies Faman Temple. It was first built during the period of Emperor Huangdi and Emperor Lingdi of the Eastern Han Dynasty between 146 and 189 AD. It is regarded as the ancestor of pagoda temples in Guangzhou. Faman Temple has become the most revered Buddhist holy place of pilgrimage in China and even in the world because it houses the Buddha relic, a finger bone Sarira of Sakyamuni in the crypt under the pagoda. The pagoda of Faman Temple is known as the True Relic Pagoda. Chinese emperors of different periods believed that venerating the Buddha relic would bring them good fortune, great merit, and protective blessings for themselves and their empires. In 555 AD, Tuobayu, a descendant of the royal family of the Northern Wei dynasty, opened the crypt of Faman Temple to pay homage to the Buddha relic. In 602 AD, during the second year of the Rinshou reign of Emperor Wendi of the Sui dynasty, the crypt of Faman Temple was opened by imperial decree. The Buddha relic was then prayed to for blessings. In 625 AD, Emperor Gaozu of the Tang dynasty ordered the construction of the Ashoka Temple, which was later renamed Faman Temple. During the Xinguan period, from 627 to 649 AD, Li Shimin, Emperor Taizong of the Tang Dynasty, opened the crypt of Faman Temple three times to pay homage to the Buddha relic. In 660 AD, Emperor Gaozong of the Tang Dynasty opened the crypt of Faman Temple and brought the Buddha relic to the capital Chang'an for a grand ceremony of salutation and worship. Seven subsequent Tang Dynasty emperors followed suit, with the largest ceremony taking place in 873 AD during the reign of Emperor Izong. In December 873 AD, Emperor Shizong sent the Buddha relic back to Faman Temple for the last time. On the fourth day of the first lunar month in 874 AD, Emperor Shizong sealed the Buddha relics and 2,499 peerless treasures of offerings by Tang Dynasty emperors into the crypt under the pagoda in accordance with Buddhist rituals. The crypt remained undisturbed for 1,113 years. In 1981, the entire western side of the 13-story pagoda collapsed after incessant heavy rains. The restoration of the pagoda began in 1987, and this restoration produced a sensational discovery, one of China's major archaeological discoveries of the 20th century. Inside the crypt, archaeologists found four relics of the Buddha, along with 2,499 Tang Dynasty royal treasures. Many of these objects were presented by members of the Tang royal household for the veneration of the Buddha relic. Two steels were found at the entrance of the crypt. One steel, inscribed in 874 AD, provides a detailed account of the various occasions on which the Buddha's finger relic was worshipped, with particular detail given to the final occasion when it was conveyed to the capital city in 873 AD. The other steel is an inventory checklist that lists the names, quantity, and weight of the 2,499 objects, as well as the donors who had given them to Faman Temple. Four finger bone relics were recovered from the crypt of Faman Temple. Three of these relics, made of jade, are called duplicate relics. 
They were used as decoys to protect the true relic during religious persecutions by Emperor Wuzong of Tang between 842 and 845 AD. The true relic is the finger bone Saraira of the Gautama Buddha, which was brought from India. It is yellow colored, with bone like secretory granules. The true relic of Feimen Temple is the only known finger bone Saraira of the historical Buddha, Shakyamuni, found in the world. The Buddha's finger bone Saraira was discovered in a hidden niche under the rear chamber, inside a set of five nested reliquaries. The set included an outer iron box, a gilt silver casket adorned with 45 Buddhist figures, a sandalwood box, now fragmented, a crystal sarcophagus with a lid decorated with sapphire and topaz gemstones, and a jade coffer containing the fingerbone Saraira. The gilt silver casket features the earliest known visual representation of the Diamond Realm Mandala in China, one of two major realms in esoteric Buddhism. 121 pieces of gold and silver wares were unearthed from the Feimen Temple crypt. The tea set is the earliest, most complete, and highest grade tea set ever found in the world. It is a remarkable artifact that demonstrates the entire tea making process, from baking, grinding, sieving, storage, cooking, and drinking. Tea was enjoyed across Tang society, and the royal court was no exception. Emperor Shizong, in particular, was a known tea enthusiast. Several of the Feimen Temple tea utensils are inscribed with the characters Wu Gu, fifth brother, a reference to the monarch's infant name, which suggests that these objects were used by him personally. The Kakara is the earliest, biggest, and highest-ranking Buddhist staff in the world. It is 1.96 meters long and made of gold and silver. It was donated to Feimen Temple by Emperor Izong in 873 AD. The Kakara is a staff used by abbots, primarily in prayer or as a weapon. It is often wielded during grand ceremonies, symbolizing the hierarchy of the abbot. The two ball-shaped sachets offered by Emperor Shizong are the most marvelous of all the gold and silver wares. The sachets contain incense, which would remain horizontal no matter how the sachet rolled. This was achieved through delicate mechanics inside the sachet. The bigger one is the largest sachet found so far in Tang Dynasty sachet deposits. For thousands of years, the secret color porcelain has been a mystery in China. Its formula and production were kept secret, and it was reserved for use by the royal court, giving rise to its name secret color porcelain. During the Tang and subsequent dynasties, poets celebrated the beauty of secret color porcelain, comparing its appearance to a thousand emerald peaks and fresh dew-covered lotus leaves. The true color of these porcelains remained unknown until the Feimen Temple crypt was discovered. Thirteen celadon vessels unearthed from the crypt were matched with inscriptions on the inventory checklist steel, revealing their true nature. Among the rare discoveries from the Feimen Temple crypt are 18 pieces of Middle Eastern imported glassware. This collection of treasures, which includes various forms and designs, represents the largest known group of early Islamic glass vessels in mostly intact conditions in China. During the Tang Dynasty, Islamic glassware was considered an exotic luxury and was prized for its beauty, strength, and transparency. The Feimen Temple Crypt boasts a treasure trove of silk products from the Tang Dynasty, covering almost all categories and weaving techniques. Among the 700 silk textiles is an embroidered skirt belonging to Empress Wu Zetian, the first and only female emperor in Chinese history. She gifted the skirt to the Buddha, and it is the only known personal item of the Empress. The intricate patterns were created using gold threads, each only 0.1 mm thick, and interwoven with silk thread, demonstrating the exceptional skill of Tang Dynasty gold brocade weaving. Most of the buildings in Feimen Temple today were built after 1987 in the Tang Dynasty style. The Feimen Temple Pagoda, reconstructed in 1988, was designed in the style of a 13-level octagonal pagoda from the Ming Dynasty. The interior is made of reinforced concrete, while the exterior is covered in green bricks. The pagoda stands at a height of 47 meters. 
The Namaste Dagoba, designed by Taipei 101 architect C. Y. Lee, stands at a height of 148 meters and is likely the tallest Buddhist stupa in the world. It was built not only as a place of worship but also to house the true relic of the Buddha's finger bone Saraira. This one-of-a-kind relic is enshrined in the underground palace of the Namaste Dagoba and is brought up to the first floor on the first and fifteenth days of each lunar month as well as on Saturdays, Sundays, and public holidays for tourists and devotees to pay their respects. Feyman Temple is a sacred site for Buddhists as it houses the only known finger bone Saraira of the historical Buddha, Shakyamuni. It has been a revered royal temple for thousands of years, with eight Tang dynasty emperors conveying the Buddha relic to Chang'an in grand ceremonies of salutation and worship. It also experienced the darkest time of religious persecution during the reign of Emperor Wuzong of the Tang Dynasty, when Buddhism was banned and Buddhist temples were destroyed. Despite being sealed for 1,113 years, once the crypt of Feyman Temple was opened, the prosperity of the Tang Dynasty was revealed to the world once again, 